Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the CHS Weekly Report. I am your host, WDSO's Operations Manager, Emily Fletcher, and today we have with us some members of Chesterton High School's gymnastics team. Welcome to the show, ladies, and thank you for being here. Can you introduce yourselves and tell us what grade you're in? My name is Clay Larson, and I'm a senior. I'm Mia Pack, and I'm also a senior. How long have you been active in gymnastics? Since I was six. I've been doing it ever since I was two. Do you think of gymnastics more of a sport or more of an art? Definitely a sport. Yeah, definitely a sport. Is there any reason why you think that? I Uh, mean, it's just as hard as, like, any other sport. Yeah, of course. It's not harder. Of course. It's, like, all strength. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, strength and coordination. Yes. Yes. (laughs) And memorization. Yeah. (laughs) It's, it's, It's everything. Are there any areas that you specialize in? I, floor comes easy to me, but my favorite is beam. My favorite is bars, and it's also the easiest for me. What is your favorite thing about gymnastics? I like how, like, how close we are as a team, and that we, like, are basically, like, sisters, and we do everything together. Um, I'd have to say the same thing, but also, like, it teaches you a lot, like, having to practice so many hours a week and do, like, school and family it's a lot to handle, but, like, you learn to handle all of it. How much time do you spend per week practicing? 18 hours. Yeah. Six days a week. <laughs> three, hours, three hours a day. Dang. Is that all here at Chester High School? Yeah. Yeah. What would you say would be the most challenging thing about being a student athlete? Just, like, the long practices, and then you have to go home, and you still have to eat and shower, and then you do all of your homework, and by the time you're done with all that, it's, like, 11 midnight, and you have to get ready and do it all over again the next day. Yeah, probably time management and managing everything and turning all your work in time. Like, it's a lot to process, I guess. What do you think is the key to success for being a student athlete and managing all of those things? I would, like, plan out how you're going to do it, like, set off a certain amount of time to do your homework, because you know when your practice is, so you got to just plan it out before. Yeah, and I'd say, like, doing things before, it's actually, like, a sign, like, keeping up with your work. How often does the gymnastics team compete? During normal season, it's one or twice a week, and then postseason, it's once a week. Do you guys go to different high schools, or has anything changed for the like COVID restrictions? Is anything? I know a lot of things are uh, so online, far, and yeah, so far I think we're good until someone gets positive, mm, yeah. then that will be canceled. But so we far don't really know anything <laughs> yet, so we're just playing it by ear, I guess. On a scale of one to ten, how nervous do you get before an event? I would say like six. I like to like not talk or do anything. Just like you like leave me alone. I'll be good. Get in the zone. Yeah. I think it depends like which event I'm on because beam I get really nervous for because it's a lot of pressure of like staying on the beam, which I don't do like ever. So. <laughs> but like bars, like I'm usually never nervous for bars or vault. So it just depends like which meet or like what event I'm on. Can you explain to listeners what the different terminology is? Like floor, what is that? Beams, what is that? Vault, what are the different events? So there's vault, and basically you just run and <laughs> at a stationary object, and like there's a springboard, and you jump on it, and then you hit the table. That's like the whole apparatus, and then you flip off of it and land. And then bars, it's two sets of bars, and they're uneven. And so you just swing on it. <laughs> go from bar to bar. Yeah, go from bar to bar. Beam to is a four-inch piece of wood. I don't know how long it is, but that's how wide it is. And you flip on it and jump on it and then dismount. <laughs> and then floor is just a square, and you have to tumble inside the lines in the corners. And then you also have to have, like, dance requirements and stuff along with your floor team. What do you think about when you're performing? Um, like beam, most of the time I'm just thinking, don't fall, because that's not good. But like bars, I don't really think at all. I most of the time don't even like breathe. And then floor is kind of just like, you just go, you just do it. It's not really that much thinking. Same with vault, it kind of happens so fast that you really don't Mm. know. It's more just like body awareness. Yeah, I don't really know what I think about. (laughs) I kind of just block (laughs) everything out as I'm doing it, because if like, If I have something in my head at that moment, like, it'll probably throw me off. It'll be a distraction. Yeah. 
How do you get the courage to do something that looks like <laughs> you could break your neck? Um, ever since we were, like, little, we had to learn, that, like, if you fall, you have to fall correctly so you don't land on your neck. But, like, I have definitely landed on my head a few times. But I don't, you just have to, like, you know where you are. It's, we don't, like, we don't really know where we are, but we do at the same time. Like, our body knows where we are. So most of the time, like, we'll at least get onto, like, our hands and our knees before our head. Yeah, that's what, like, is crazy about this sport because at such a young age, you have to learn how to fall correctly because if you don't, like, you'll injure yourself. So now that we're older, like, if we fall, like, we know what to do. It's like muscle memory? Yeah. yeah like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And that's probably why, you know, people start so young. Yes. yes, you have to start young for gymnastics. How do the judges determine a winner? So you have to, like, have, like, certain amount of, like, skills, and each skill is with, like, a different value, and they add up to 10, and sometimes it can be, like, 10.2 if you have, like, a lot of skills in your routine. And then they deduct based off, like, if you fall or you bend a knee or bend, like, something, flex a foot or, like, floor, how you execute your routine, they can take off. So, like, if you just look like you don't want to be there at all, they can take off for that. Smiling is bonus. That's that's what I say. If you smile, (laughs) then they'll they'll be more intrigued to watch you. Like, the whole time or just when you, like, 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 two or three times? (laughs) Like, you have to look like you want to want be, to be there, there and okay. like you're performing to your best Well, that's ability. good. Has your team won any recent competitions? We both are actually undefeated our whole high school career. career. Wow. Yeah. Never lost to me. Have you guys been doing gymnastics together for like a really long time or yeah. just from? Yeah. yeah. From we've been doing club together before we were even in high school. high school. So we've been friends for quite a while. That's awesome. Yeah. Do either of you have aspirations to continue gymnastics after high school? No, I don't think my body could withhold doing gymnastics any longer. It's a really, like, it's a really stressful sport on your body, and I just, I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I have major back problems (laughs) right now, so I don't think I could continue doing the sport. I mean, maybe, like, coaching sometime in the future, but not actually physically doing the sport. What are your plans after high school? Since you're both seniors, you must have thought about it at least a little bit. We both want to go to IU. Oh, I want to be a PT, so I applied to major in kinesiology. I actually got accepted yesterday, but I found out today while we were at lunch. Oh, cool. Yeah, I either want to be a PT or an orthopedic doctor. You said you're both going to IU? Yes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. How did you first start becoming interested in gymnastics? Um, I did soccer and swimming before, and I started gymnastics, and I didn't really know, like, if I wanted to do it, but I did it for, like, a week, and they had already moved me up, like, two levels, so I decided to stay in it, and then I had to give up soccer and swimming once I was six, so I had to make a decision of what I wanted to do, and I just chose gymnastics. Well, since I started so young, <laughs> um, my mom always tells me that, like, I would climb up onto the counters and stuff and, like, do flips off of her lap. So she was like, we need something that, like, you can do this in a safe environment. So they just put me in gymnastics and I've been doing it ever since. And probably, like, tire you out so yeah. you're not flipping off stuff at home. <laughs> yeah. You're, like, just too tired to run around like that. Give me to someone else. <laughs> to Who are your personal gymnast heroes? Probably Simone Biles because she's the best in the world, but yeah, I'd just say Simone Biles because she's such an inspiration to like a lot of people, and she's accomplished so many things, and she's still in the sport, and she's like 22, Four. 24 or something like that. And that's old, I guess. Yeah, that's, that is that's, old for gymnastics. That's old for women. Usually gymnastics, is. yeah, they're done after like 21. Just because of their body just being like yeah, wrecked from so it. Like, you start like elite when you're like 11. You like start to go to the national training camps and then once you turn 16 you're on the olympic team if you make it there yeah. wow it's very yeah. early yeah and you have to be homeschooled and all of this other stuff because right. gymnastics is pretty much and like your whole not life not live in indiana because yeah no india is not the place for that for gymnastics yeah <laughs> chloe did you say that you had a gymnastics hero um i like to watch college gymnastics so a lot of like college gymnasts are like old elite gymnasts that like either got hurt or just weren't seen as good enough so they do college so i like livy dunn i like watching her because she got she was on the national team for so long and then just kind of got ignored and then she joined lsu so can you tell us a little about who your coach is um, our head coach is Don Mathis, 
She's been the head coach, I want to say, for six, five years. Five, five. years, I think. Now. So we've had her our whole time. And then our assistant coach is Christy DeZerba. And I've known her for a long time, probably since, like, middle school, because she we would, like, see the high school group practice while we were at club. And then we have two other assistant coaches, Elena Lynn and Elizabeth Kozak, that help us and volunteer to coach. So you had said that Indiana is not the place to be if you want to seriously pursue gymnastics. Yes. yes. Um, why do you think that that is? If your high school is undefeated, you'd think that that would be... Um, like, nationally recognized. So, like, high school is totally different than USAG, which is the Junior Olympics program. And you have to have, like, hardcore skills. And they usually have the bigger gyms are south, like, in Texas. And the only, like, the best Indiana gymnastics is probably JPAC, which is run by J.C. Phelps. And she's a old um, Olympic medalist. Oh, cool. You don't get scouted in high school. You yeah. have to do club. You have to get scouted. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So they're completely separate. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is there anything surprising that you could share with us about gymnastics? Um, people like to look at gymnastics and think it's not a sport because there's no ball. That's what we usually get. Or we're just dancing and flipping around on things. But if you ask anyone to walk across the beam, they probably can't even do that. So it's just annoying to hear all the time that we're not a sport. And then we don't get recognized really as much as all the other sports, even with winning all the time. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's a really hard sport. Most people don't see it as that, unless, like, you're in the sport. So, yeah, it is annoying to hear people say it's not a sport or that we're not as good as, like, other teams when we are. Yeah, we were talking earlier, and I had said that gymnastics is definitely a sport. It's probably one of the hardest sports because it combines strength and coordination Mm -hmm. And it's, memorization. Yeah. It's very mental, too. Like, yeah. even, like, we look like we're... It's not hard to us. We show that, like, it, it doesn't look hard when you're watching us perform. But, like, most of those skills, some of them, like, we are deathly afraid of. And it's kind of just, like, we know we're not going to fall, but we're just so scared to do it. But we do it anyways. Yeah, because most of the time, sometimes you fall badly and... It's a mental block in your head, Mm -hmm. so, like, sometimes it's not easy to go for things like that. Right, and as we were talking about, you have to start gymnastics early, otherwise you're not going to learn the skills that you need to... Where, like, anyone can pick up a baseball bat or yeah. kick a soccer ball, yeah. and they could have natural ability. Like, gymnastics, you have to have natural ability yeah. and so years before, of training. like, every event, we have to do, like, like, on floors called, like, line work or, like, complex work. Like, we have to do, like, the basics before we're even allowed to do our actual skills. Because if you can't do the basics, your your hard skills are just going to be sloppy and you you have a more chance of getting hurt. Yeah, like in other sports, you learn the basics and that's all you do. Mm-hmm. Gymnastics, you learn the basics and then you have to learn harder things. Like every practice, you could learn a new skill or try a new skill. Like other sports, you just have to, to hit the ball yeah, the basics. and run. There's not much more you can do. Absolutely. Have you learned any new skills recently that you are particularly proud of? My probably hardest skill, I do a double on the floor. It's a double full, so you flip once, but you twist twice in the air before you land. I've been practicing a lot of new skills, but I think my favorite new skill has to be my release move on bars. And most high school gymnasts don't do this these releases, so like I'm particularly proud of it. So Very cool. Can you tell us any skills that you learned in gymnastics that translate to any other areas of life? Um, like time management, like we said like earlier, like even when we don't have gymnastics on that day, I still like try to plan out how to do my day. I think communication as well, because you have to communicate with your coaches and yourself, because like if like your body hurts, you need to stop and treat it, which normally a lot of people don't do because they don't want to stop like I've done that in the past and it's hurt me because I don't speak up about it you also have to learn how to like work well with others and you have to look over other people for yourself because as we are a team we do compete individually so even if we had a bad event we have to pick it back up and do better the next event because even if you're having a bad day then it creates the whole team to suffer you also learn how to make lots of new friends Mm-hmm. Because you're with them in the day, like every day, every hour of the day. So, like, you just create a whole new family 
I guess you could say. Is there anything else that you would like to tell our listeners about either gymnastics or student life in general? No, not really. I feel like we've covered most of it. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, that is going to be it then for this week's edition of WDSO's CHS Weekly Report. This has been Emily Fletcher. Thank you for coming in and meeting with us, and good luck in your future gymnastics competition and IU. Thank you. Thank you. This program was previously recorded.